it's Tiff here for another Monday. Thank you so much for joining me. We're using the Square Dilutions Journal again today. And I may or may not be drinking wine. But you will be watching this as you drink coffee. So there. I have this page that I used as a clean up. And I just don't like to waste paint. No need in wasting paint. So, I have three colors, a gray, a yellow, and a Payne's gray that are over here on um, this piece of paper, which is actually the inside of book text. And today, I did not speed this video up. This is real time. It really took me 13 minutes and 49 seconds to create this. And I'm going in with my brayer. And... As you know, if you've watched me before, I always say I like to activate the energy within the page and within the journal. It tells a story. I don't always know what that story is when I start, but by the time we reach the end, I know exactly that it is what it should be. So I'm going to go in and just dip my fingers into this turquoise um, color. This is a Liquitex Basics color, and it's one of my favorite teals. And I'm just kind of getting some movement and flow, adding a little bit of the Payne's Gray here to add some mood and some darkness into it. And again, using my brayer just to get those colors and textures and all the goodness going into the background. And I'm going to work on drying this page as I, I never really stop when I start creating. So I don't typically stop to dry something. I'm usually drying with one hand, moving with the other, either searching for the next little extra bit that I put on there. Or possibly just looking at colors, textures, um, scribbling with a um, crayon, new pastel, or something like that. So there's not a lot of time where I just don't do anything. There's something that I'm always working on. And here I realized that I had some paint that was stuck on my brush. And I knew that that paint was going to dry. And before I dipped it in the water, I just wanted to clean it off. Because, I mean, after all, this is like a 99 cent bottle of paint. So, I've got to make that stuff stretch. <laughs> also, I do prefer working on pages that already have something going on. Um, You know, blank pages can also be like, oh my gosh, it's a blank page. But I like to just put a little giblet of this and that, a little bits and bobs, a little paint slap, it, a little, I may cover the whole thing up, but um, it's kind of fun. And then I'm going to take my Amsterdam Reflex Rose, which is one of my top pinks. Between that and the Neon Patio Paints by... Deco Arts or Americana, I can't remember right now off the top of my head. I'm going in here with the palette knife and I'm just going to scratch um, and scrape some of the color in. And we're going to make a bold, drastic move here in just a minute. Because as I was doing this, inspiration took over. And I'm going to go wild. And crazy aren't you glad you get to like hang out and watch me go wild and crazy and so I'm going to glue a vintage love letter of sorts that I have in my stash y'all know I love me some vintage um, handwritten papers and so I'm gonna glue those down with the uhu glue stick in the corner well Tiffany that's weird that's a weird move Okay, bear with me, people. Bear with me. I'm going to go in here with my palette knife. And I'm going to just start working around this neon pink. And then I was like, that's not quite bold enough. I'm going in with the old finger painting. And 
And sorry, but I got a little off frame because the mojo is kicking in here and I'm not really paying attention to where my frame is at the moment. So bear with me. I'm pretty sure I corrected at some point here. What am I doing? Hmm. I don't even remember now. I think I'm grabbing a pencil. Or maybe I'm talking to my husband. Who knows? Oh, I'm grabbing another paintbrush. And I'm going to start going in here with the white gesso. Actually, I think the cat outside. If y'all don't know, I have the stray cat. We have the stray cat that we named Jackson Smith, and he has brought some friends and family to our house. And while I was painting this, out of the corner of my eye, I saw these two other cats come up. And we have been wondering, like, how is he eating so much? We took him to the vet, got all his vaccinations, got him fixed, and um, all the things, and now we have, like, two other cats that have popped up at our house recently, and so we knew that he was, like, eating a lot of food for one cat, so we were suspecting there was other culprits, and during the painting of this, I spotted the other two, um, that come up to say hey. So, if you aren't aware at this point, this is going to be an abstract vase of flowers. How did I grab an abstract vase of flowers out of that background we have? I don't have a clue, but I'm just going with the muse, and it's kind of walking me through what I need to do. And so I'm going to grab, that was a little paint booger, and I'm going to take and just go in here with this peachy pink color. This is... um. By Master's Touch, which is actually Hobby Lobby's brand, and I've really been very impressed with um, with that paint. It's it's super affordable for the huge tube that you get, and so I was kind of surprised that it was such a good paint. But it is, it is a pretty good paint. And I went in there with just um, that peach color with my finger, and I'm taking. This is a either a ink tint or a Prismacolor pencil. I have them all mixed up in one big stack because, well, I'm weird like that. And it doesn't really matter in what I do because it all kind of works together. It's a marker. It's a pencil. It gets the scribbles that I need. And so that's all that matters to me. And now I'm going in with this beautiful olive green, which I also believe is a patio paint. And I'm taking my fingers and just kind of working some of the greenery into this abstract painting. And kind of having a leaf looking deal come over the edge of that um, beautiful handwritten um, vase that we have going on there. And then I'm also just working back in with the pinks and the yellows. And I think that this was inspired, you know, all of the beautiful blooms. It's springtime. It's warm. It's very warm where we are. And um, all of the plants are growing and blooming. And it's just really kind of a bright, fun thing to do like... Um, these abstract florals. So I hope that this video encourages you that you should slap down some paint. And if you want to use a palette knife, use it. If you want to use your fingers, go for it. Um, it's no rhyme. It's no reason. It just kind of is a funky floral. I like funky florals myself. And I'm going in here with a little bit of the white gesso. Now you could use white um, acrylic paints here. I have been asked why do I use gesso? Um, and it, it's just convenient. <laughs> That's how I make my life choices on convenience. It's just super convenient to um, dip my finger directly into um, the gesso jar, which is probably for you um, artists 
who like have a pristine gesso jar is probably like freaking out right now. But for me, it's perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. Whatever makes your little soul happy. Happy, happy, happy. And so now I'm going to go in here with the Stabilo Marksaw Pencil. No, actually maybe that was just an ink tense and, and like a blue. But I really do grab a Stabilo Marksaw Pencil here. And I'm just going in and kind of creating a shadow here on the base of the vase. Kind of on the opposite side where the light would be. Where there would be a shadow of this. A floral coming over the edge and kind of giving a um, a shadow casted upon it. if this was sitting on like a table or something you know so it would give it a shadow I don't know that it really looks like a shadow now but you know that was my thought process and that's all I tell y'all it's just what I'm thinking so I'm gonna dry this because I have a lot of paint on there at this point they're not all super, oh, what am I doing? Oh, here I'm taking a picture of the cat. Y'all get to see that, too. I couldn't get Josh to come in there, <laughs> and so I had to take a picture of the cat to show him that I wasn't crazy. And then when I showed him later, he was like, oh, yeah, I saw that cat the other day. I'm like, yes, but this cat's like giant. And he's been over here eating our cat's food. That's what happens when you live in the country. You end up feeding your cat and all the cats around you, too. Oh, and we had a possum come up on our front porch the other night to get the cat food. Yes, it's always interesting um, living in the woods out here in the country. A nice-sized possum, Josh said for y'all. Nice-sized possum. All right, so now I'm going to go in here, and it's just not quite funky-ish enough for me. And so I'm going to go in, and I'm going to take a, this is actually green, like an olive green um, Faber-Castell or, you know, a color pencil of some sort. And I'm just making some scratchy lines and marks. Um, that is adding what I believe is a touch of interest to this um, abstract floral. And then I am going to start in with the Stabilo Marksaw. Now I have sold probably my florals are some of the, um, the few paintings that I have sold. I've sold a lot of the florals that I've done. People like florals and I know why because they make you smile and they're fun. And I just like to bring in a little bit of the dark lines. And these are abstract florals, guys, so I don't really know. They're not a real type of flower, right? So just go with it. Just let your imagination take over. And I'm not even going to activate the Stabilo Wall. I'm just going to let it be what it is. So thanks guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you will share my videos. Make sure you click the thumbs up and leave me a comment. I hope that you really enjoyed this real-time video today. And until next time, toodaloo!